I'm Emily and I my interest is food and I go to John Paul College and I'm in the ICANN program. I was always passionate with, about food since I was young, Look, going through cookbooks and looking at all the different styles of food, but I never really pursued it or took an interest in it till year eight um, during cooking lessons. And then just last year, um, we hired somebody to come over to our house and teach me all these recipes to cook. And um, she's been doing that for a full year now. And I have a full book full of recipes I've made. And it's just become a great talent of mine that I might even turn it into a job one day. So what about this topic that makes me passionate is that um, I get to create foods for people and I get to build up my skills. Um, and it even helps me with uh, things I'm not good at, such as math. So when it comes to normal math, I'm terrible at it. But when it comes to cooking, it just comes naturally. So, and it's also exciting to see every buddy's faces when I present them with the food that they like, that I've cooked. The feeling I have when I make food for others is sense of happiness and I just can see myself in the future in like a cafe just cooking things up for people and giving it to them and it just makes me all happy and excited just to do that for people so I'm constantly asking like I take um I take, aunt, uh, well, what's the word? Uh, requests. And so if you want anything, just ask me. I'll be more than happy to make it. So uh, hardest meal. Oh, it's quite a lot of things. Um, let's see if I can remember. Hardest meal. I would probably say, oh, Probably something like, um, probably pizza. Yep, so I had to make that from scratch. So that was quite difficult, but I've done that many times over now. So I now know how to make the base of a pizza if I had to start from scratch. So I'll probably say that. Some people might not think they're good at cooking because um, there are loads of things to remember and I can definitely identify since before I took lessons, um, all I knew was basically toast or breakfast. And the thought of actually cooking a meal seemed really difficult. But after I started cooking a few meals, I realized, oh, they're very similar. But People that haven't cooked before would have just thought it's really difficult, all these steps and all these foods um, and ingredients you have to prepare. But some things a little bit harder, but it's basically just um, like a pattern with some foods. So I think with my autism, it helps me to like remember recipes and take an interest because um, I can only remember things I'm interested in. So things like math instantly leave my brain, but things I love such as food or certain TV shows, I can remember off the top of my head. So I think that's how autism helps me. I think I realized I was doing maths better when I was in a maths class and I was not doing very well, having trouble and stuff. But then we went on to the topic of food since I told my teachers I do cooking every Saturday. And, and so they use that to their advantage. And once we got on the topic of cooking, I started um, 
talking about math way easier, like the um, the amount we need, so a teaspoon, a cup, or milliliters, or I can instantly understand that. So a year ago, Emily, I'd probably tell her that you will make lovely foods and instead of just a career with animals, you will probably see this as a career since a year ago, Emily would be very fixated on just working with animals, but this has opened a whole new um, world to me. Keep on cooking and it's okay if you mess up. As long as it's edible, then just have fun. That's all that really matters. And it's fun if you make mistakes because you can just laugh about it and fix it up next time.